Mike Moore Media. I'm talking to Cindy Adams, Marketing and Special Events Manager for the City of Eden. And she's on our media line now. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Mike. How are you doing? I'm doing great as we get ready for the holidays. Oh, this is an exciting time of the year, isn't it? It is, and it's here. Uh, no, it is here. <laughs> You're right. Uh. And we're looking at our calendar, so I'm, I'm taking notes. What are some things coming up we need to know about? Well, it starts this Friday with what I call the event of the year, Mm -hmm. and that's the Kiwanis Pancake Supper. (laughs) You know, this has been going on for a long, long time, 40-some years, I believe. 42 42. this year. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's amazing. They do such a good job with it. Um, Mm -hmm. It really is a time to connect with people in the community and eat some good food, but um, it's always packed. Um, It'll be running from 430 to 7.30 in the Moorhead High School cafeteria. Very inexpensive supper, $6 for adults, $3 for children. So, Mm -hmm. yeah, come. And, and you know, uh, I've always gotten my tickets from Raymond Uden in the past. Today's his birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Raymond. So uh, thanks to the uh, Eden Kiwanis Club for their many years of service to our community. Yeah, they do a great job. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's Friday. Yeah, and then... um, on November 24th, um, the day after Thanksgiving, will be the um, nighttime Christmas parade in Leesville. It starts on Washington and runs all the way down Kings Highway and ends up in Kingsway Plaza. And that will start promptly at 6.30. Mm-hmm. And so they are still taking entries. And so the Chamber of Commerce is in charge of that this year. And so you can call that office at 623 Eden and reserve your spot. Okay, so the Christmas parade, always a uh, nighttime parade the day after Thanksgiving. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, great tradition there, too. Mm-hmm. Um, and then on Tuesday, November 28th, speaking of tradition, this is the Draper Tree Lighting Ceremony. Um, this started with the kids at Draper Elementary, and um, even after. Uh, the school closed. They have carried this on, and they're in the little community park at the corner there of um, Stadium and Fieldcrest. Mm-hmm. Um, it will start at 6 o'clock. Um, they invite everyone to bring an ornament to hang on the tree, visit with Santa, have some s'mores and hot chocolate. And that's, a, I don't know, there's just something sweet about that event mm-hmm. and um, almost a little emotional when you're there. But sure. um, it truly is a community coming together. Uh, to celebrate the season. So I hope everybody comes out to that. Okay, Draper Tree Lighting on the 28th. Okay, got it. Yeah, and then um, our biggie um, is Winterfest coming up on um, Friday, December 1st, just packed with fun for the whole family. Um, It starts at 530 out here in Grogan Park on the campus of City Hall and runs to 8. Big thing, we're showing Elf uh, on the outdoor screen there, so bring your chairs, bring your blankets. Um, But we'll have popcorn and drink with that, and um, Santa will be back for that as well. Um, We'll have characters uh, from all your favorite shows walking around, being able to take pictures with them. Uh, Oversized games, we have a lighted inflatable slide, um, a hot chocolate bar, Brunswick stew, a s'mores bar, Um, the gift basket raffle to benefit United Way, and those are some extraordinary baskets. I mean, that is is a big deal. Um, Tree lighting, we're going to have funnel cakes. and other. It's just chock full. It's just fun. (laughs) You know, Winterfest, I look forward to that as we get closer to this time every year. So that is, that's Mm -hmm. Friday, December 1st. Yes, and we're really decorating it up out there. So Mm -hmm. it'll be very festive, um, um, like I said, the kids will love it as well as adults. There's something for everybody. There really is, yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, and everyone loves Elf. We love that movie. It's so much fun. <laughs> well, yeah. this is going to be my first viewing of this, so I'm really looking for I've heard so much about it from everybody. I can't wait. Well, I, I, we're going we're gonna <laughs> to hold you down and, and make you watch it. <laughs> well, I am. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yeah, good. I know. I think you mentioned that last time. I can't believe yeah. you haven't seen Elf. Why? Uh, can Why you believe? It? I know. That's what I ask myself oh, now. Gee, okay. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll watch some of that with you. Uh, so we'll, okay, we'll, we'll be good. movie partners on that one. All right. Yeah. We'll get us a bag of popcorn and have a seat. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's always a fun event, uh, mm-hmm. Winterfest uh, at uh, Grogan Park. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All and, right. And, you know, I, this is the year of the trail, and still good things happening at our trails on land and on water. 
It is, and it's been an extraordinary year. That was such a great initiative for not just Rockingham County, because we really embraced it here in our county and mm-hmm. really jumped yeah. on it, but the whole state to bring awareness to um, to our beautiful trails, whether they be blue ways or um, walkways. And so, and here in Eden and the county, we're blessed with some beautiful trails, some beautiful rivers. And so there's all kinds of opportunities to get out and enjoy those, and it's all free. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And this is, a, we've had so many beautiful fall days lately, too, and evenings to get uh, out, too, for that. Yeah, such an extraordinary, I don't remember a fall this pretty in a long time as far as sunshine, warm weather. Um, so there's been ample opportunities to get outside. That's exactly right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anything else we need to mention? Well, um, Uptown Eden has several things coming. On Saturday, December 2nd, uh, they're going to do their holiday stroll along Washington Street. I hear there's going to be carriage rides again and all kinds of fun things down there. That runs till 7, and at 6, they're going to light a tree. They're going to have a beautiful um, tree in the little pocket park there with a clock. Mm -hmm. And so we're excited about that. We hope everybody comes and enjoys that and sees that beautiful tree that's going to be lit in Gene Harrington Park. And then on Friday, December 15th, to kind of cap off that shopping, they're doing a ladies' night out uh, from 5 to 8. Those are always fun. And um, so we hope everybody comes and, and supports those downtown merchants. Shop local as much as you can. Um, Uptown Eden has some really awesome shops and mm-hmm. some really great opportunities to buy some uh, great gifts. And um, great merchants group, great places when you're shopping and you want to stop for a drink or some food. There's plenty of places down there now. Have you some coffee to start your day or end your evening, and it's just it's just a great place to be. Mm-hmm. It really is, yeah. Lots going on in Uptown Eden, and we have a new Monroe Street. <laughs> is it not nice? Oh, you know, yeah. Monroe Street, those businesses drive a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Um, Monroe yeah. Street is as busy as Washington Street. Um, they have some extraordinary businesses and restaurants there. And um, so I'm just so happy for them. I'm happy for myself, for Oink and Ale coming up in the spring, mm-hmm. sure. yeah. <laughs> to have a new street and new sidewalks. And so that really is a treat. And um, hats off to all those who had a part in that. I know the street department worked long and hard on those sidewalks. Mm-hmm. And um, Kevin London oversaw the the paving. And um, so we are just delighted that that project is almost in the books. They're going to restripe this week. And so we should be ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. I I said the street, but then you mentioned the sidewalks. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, it's so nice now that that's coming to any end. Yeah. For the merchants and every uh, the shoppers. Yeah. It is. It has been um, a long time coming. They've worked hard and Mm. uh, merchants have been patient and so just in time for the, the holiday shopping season, everything's going to be done. So. That's exactly right, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm on uh, your Facebook page, Explore Eden NC, and mm-hmm. I see uh, more events. I have something coming up at the Eden Public Library and uh, an event at, um, let's see here, uh, First Presbyterian Church and uh, uh, some stews. And, you know, so uh, <laughs> Explore Eden NC is a great mm-hmm. uh, resource there for all kinds of good information. It it is. Always check that. Check it daily. Um, there's always something new being added. You talked about the Presbyterian Church. We are a sponsor of the Raleigh Ringers, mm-hmm. um, which is a delight to have them. They're an internationally acclaimed concert handbell choir. They're out of Raleigh, um, and they are coming to Eden for, for a performance on Sunday afternoon, December 10th at 4 o'clock. Um, they're not going to do just holiday music, but they do famous rock and roll tunes mm-hmm. um, and everything arranged for handbills. So it's it's going to be quite a treat. Um, limited seating. Get your tickets now. Uh, they're $25. You can email Pam Cundiff at Travel Consultants at Pam at EdenTravelConsultants.com. And this is on our Facebook page. Uh, mm-hmm. It should be on our website as well. Um, but go ahead and get your tickets now. That's going to be a treat. It will be. I've, I've heard of them, and uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this myself. Okay. Yeah. You also mentioned a lot. We have such an exciting library. <laughs> we really do. You know. And, and, you I, and I was in the library <laughs> recently for an event, and, uh, you know, for people that are, are new to the area, they think, uh-huh. oh, who goes to the library anymore? There are lots of reasons to go to Everybody. the library. Yeah. 
In yeah. fact, all over our county, Madison, uh, Mid-Ann, and, and Stoneville, and Reedsville, and all of them have uh, good things happening. Yeah, they have things for children, for teenagers, for seniors, for adults, um, you know, art displays. It's always very, very active. And if you go by there, that parking lot stays full. Mm-hmm. Um, but they really do a great job there. There's a display there um, from a friend of ours, Sharon Tongbua. Um, as you come in the door, her handcrafted creations are in a case uh, there on the left as you come in, and they are absolutely gorgeous. So I encourage everybody to go see that. Um, very, very talented um, lady, and um, her work is all Christmas-related, oh. um, but it, it's stunning. It's absolutely beautiful. I didn't know about that either. I just talked to Sharon recently, but I, I didn't know about mm-hmm. that display at the Eden Public yeah. Library. How wonderful. I'll get yeah, by. really, really pretty. You'll enjoy it. Yeah, I'm sure I will. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, anything else before we wrap it up? No, I think that's it. Next month we'll um, we'll start talking about 2024. We've already dated our um, events and uh, a few special things coming up out of the ordinary, and so we'll save that for next time and kind of kick it off. Okay. Well, thank you for all of the holiday things that are coming up that you mentioned, and uh, if I don't see you before, I will certainly see you at Winterfest, December first. You will. Looking right. forward to it. I Thank you. Too. And you took and you took the picture of the year. You know, we use it on all of our marketing now. Oh, so. that was so sweet of you to do that. Bring yeah. bring that camera. Yeah. Okay, I got it. I got you covered. All right. And you okay. know that and that reminds me. Didn't I read something somewhere about is the chamber doing something with photos? Um, they were asking, yes, they okay. were asking for photos, and okay. I know they use them a lot in their directory, um, and they're they're uh, actually compiling their directory right now. Okay, all right. And so anybody who has any um, Eden pictures, nature pictures, people pictures, um, send them to the chamber. They'll be glad to have them. And that's another thing. Uh, the Eden Chamber of Commerce, I tell you, that is a busy group there, Sandra Meadows and her team. It is. She is on the ball. She is on fire, and she keeps it going. And um, our businesses are very lucky to have um, a chamber of that caliber, and um, the board is great. Uh, They just formed the Greater Eden Chamber of Commerce Foundation, Mm -hmm. um, and we look forward to what that's going to produce for um, citizens and for businesses to, to, you know, kind of move that needle a little bit more with Eden and just keep on improving. That's right. Lots of educational opportunities there mm-hmm. for our young people, too. All right. Thank you, Cindy. See you soon. Thank you. Okay. okay. Bye-bye. Bye. That's our friend Cindy Adams with the City of Eden. She's the one that puts it all together with a special events and marketing manager as well. Yes, be sure to uh, get out and enjoy uh, all of the fun holiday events coming up. Shop local. Shop Eden with all of our wonderful businesses and and hometown businesses here uh, that have so much to offer as well. And that reminds me, brings us right to our sponsors for today's podcast. We were talking about Monroe Street a moment ago. I was in last week and uh, talking to Donna at that little pork shop. You know, we're getting into the uh, time of the year when a nice big bowl of Uh, Hot vegetable soup would be good from that little pork shop. Of course, they have so much on the menu. There are salads and sandwiches and burgers and flatbreads and uh, wings and tacos and so many sides and all of that. And Christmas parties. Yep, uh, they've expanded right next door, that uh, that little pork shop, so they can help you with all of your holiday parties and things like that as well, too. So see Donna for that. And then we have uh, good things happening at Ingrid's Cupcakes and Confections on Kings Highway. I just shared uh, Ingrid's Facebook post this morning about her Christmas gift tins. My wife, Annette, has already made that order (laughs) for us, filled with all kinds of Ingrid's uh, fresh baked goods. So uh, you can find that uh, at Ingrid's Cupcakes and Confections on her Facebook page And yes, uh, she can take care of all of those baked things you'll be needing for the holidays as well. Thank you, Ingrid, for doing such a great work, uh, great work for all of us. Again, uh, thank you for uh, listening to our podcast today and supporting these events and our businesses. Go to Explore Eden NC for more information.